What's going on, YouTube? This is Walking by Faith coming at you again with another message. This message is going to be entitled Believers Must Be Doers of God's Word. Believers Must Be Doers of God's Word. So I'm going to read the passage of scripture out of James 1 chapter 19 through 27 and then I'll give you the breakdown so here we go wherefore my beloved brethren let every man be swift to hear slow to speak slow to wrath for the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God wherefore lay apart all filthiness and super superfluity of naughtiness and receive which meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your souls. <clears throat> but be ye doers of the word and not hearers of the word deceiving your own self. For if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer of the word word he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in glass for he beholdeth himself and go goeth his way and straightway forget forgetteth that manner of man he was but whosoever looketh into the perfect law of liberty and continueth therein he be not a for forgetful hearer but a doer of the work this man shall be blessed in his deeds if any man among you seem to be religious and bridleth not his tongue but deceive his own heart this man's religion is vain pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and widows in their affliction and to keep himself unspotted from the world. <sighs> okay, so basically what those pa passages of scriptures is saying is this, okay. A a believer of God, okay, is slow to speak, and he's more prone to listen than he is to speak, and he is slow to wrath, okay, that means he's slow, he's slow to get upset, and, and, um, he doesn't let the, the, the he doesn't let the sunset go down on his wrath, okay. Also, what the passages of scriptures are saying is this, okay? You can't sit there and say that you believe in the word, but yet your mouth is saying that you believe in the word, but, but you're not a doer of the word, okay? You can read the Bible all day. You know what I'm saying? You can go to church and, and say that, you know, you're you're a born again Christian, but if you don't follow what the what what the truth or what the word is saying, then you're not a doer of the word. Okay. Ba and, 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 and it's also saying that basically if if um, you don't bright lift your tongue if you don't mind your tongue if you don't if, if, if you don't um, keep your tongue at bay and you just spout out you just spout out things out of your mouth that um, are contradictory to the word 
or if you curse or if you condemn people and and whatnot then it does not align with the word and since it does not align with the word then basically your religion is vain and what you say you believe in is vain okay but a pure religion which is unbefiled or undefiled before God is to visit the fatherless and the widowless and to basically take care of them while they're in their afflictions okay so so you basically you basically father god basically commands us to look out for the neat for the uh the the homeless look out for the the uh, single mothers with with uh without uh that that you know don't have a husband and and uh the kids that are fatherless don't have a, a father figure in their life you know we're, we're supposed to help them that's what father god commands us to do okay and last but not least we are to keep ourselves unspotted from this world okay we are not supposed we, we're supposed to live in this world but not live of this world okay so with that being said i hope you like the message god loves you i love you as all my brothers and sisters in christ god bless you god keep you and i'm gonna catch y'all on the next one